Hi, today we are going to do bottle cap painting. Okay, for example, so I'm taking favorite acrylic color. So if you have acrylic, it's fine. Or poster colors, anything. So you can take any waste uh, bottle cap or paint cap itself we can use. Okay. So if you don't want to mess up this kind of paint cap, you can uh, go for some waste uh, cap, old uh, plastic bottle cap, okay? So I'm using small amount of paint on the corners. You can choose any color of your choice, okay? So I am just, then paint it like this, giving a nice thick press. Okay, right? So now you can close your bottle. And what we are going to use is, we are going to take only water with the brush. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Take some water, just damp it like this on the waste cloth, okay? Don't make it too much dry. Slowly, we are going into corners. Okay, so it's getting dry. Right, so I'm taking some more water, slowly going with the corners. So I'm smudging the corners. Okay, I'm just filling it up with the shades. Okay, so we have used uh, more uh, water. That's why it is smudged so much. Okay, so what we will do, we will take some more orange color. Okay, a little amount of orange color. I will give it out on the circle. So here you no need to draw a circle and you no need to color it perfectly and everything. Okay. We are just with the mark. We are just overlapping. Like how we give outline with black sketch. We are doing this. Okay. Okay, now slowly we are smudging the color into the center. So if it gets dried, use some water and repeat it. So once you get this part, don't go for the paint so much. Okay, just smudge it with water so that the shading kind of thing can be seen. Okay, so let it dry. So this is a very thick color circle. Okay, so we will try another one with uh, some another color, okay? So I'm using green. So 
So I'm doing with my same paint bottle cap. You can do with any cap. So same way, just take medium amount of water in your brush. And slowly, go very slow. So once you have done the print, the immediately you have to go for the shading thing, okay? So if you wait for some time, the paint will get dried. So I'm covering this area with the water. So you can use your watercolor also, it will be nice. Whatever paint you have, you can use that. So Akansha and everyone, if you have any doubt, let me know. Right? So this is a neat shading. So can you see the difference? And this is a darker one. And it uh, smudged outside. So here we have done neatly. Okay. Go slowly. So next color, shall we go for the next color? So we can do multiple colors in multiple spaces, wherever you feel like. Okay, so I'm doing one more here. Give a nice, nice thick dress. Uh-oh, I'll do once again. I want to need to Wow. So once your outer line is done, just add some water and go for the shading. Make sure you touch these corners only, not more than that, because the water will be spreading, it will get smudged off. So, do it carefully, slowly. Take some more water, I will leave in the middle so that it should merge. Okay. Nice, right? You liked it? Hope everybody is doing with me and enjoying this session. So again, I'm going for back to orange color, okay? To check whether this kind of shading we get that. 
<laughs> so you can use any color you can do more creatively so if you have smaller one smaller bottle cap also you can use bigger one like that creatively you can make it Uh oh, I'm giving it once again. I want clear round picture. So mostly we find difficult in drawing circles, right? So this is an easy technique. We have to draw a paint a circle and we can give shading easily without spending much paint also. Okay. So yeah, and just connecting it so that it will be easy to do shade. Okay. It's a bit rough. So we'll take some water so these colors we have taken from the outer outer line which we have done with the bottle cap okay Go slowly, patiently, so that it will come perfect. No worries if you did wrong also. If you keep practicing, it is very good for concentration. It is very good to practice coloring and shading double color such kind of thing it's a good technique to do it came out in some color right okay let us see when it is dried okay and this is, looks great now after dry right so this is how we do bottle cap painting you can use any size of bottle cap, the bigger one, smaller one, or like uh, very small also. It's fine. Or you can do a creative stuff with that. So anybody is having doubt with this or anybody want me to wait? So Akansha, are you doing there? You like it? Yes, ma'am. Very good. It is very fun way to learn painting, right? Okay. So now what we can do is Either you can draw it like a balloons or we can do it like a flowers, anything, okay? That is absolutely your creativity, okay? So before doing that, we will make some more uh, circles to make it more crowded. So as for your paper size, you can do
use very, very less amount of weight. It's getting dried. That's why it does not come back. Yeah, press it hard. Wow, we got that. You can just make circles or flowers, balloons kind of thing. You can make it off like that. Anything as how you feel it. That is up to your creativity. I'm just coloring off the other part too. Smudging it well. We will give one more here, okay? I will finish off this. So we we'll give green color as well. Something it will look uniform. So you can use mixed color, alternative colors like one yellow, one red, like that alternative colors also fine. That one course much tough. So make, make sure the small amount of water you use. Okay. So if you use more water, it will smudge off like this. If you use more paint also, it will make them darker like this. So it is all about how much you use and how focused you are doing this, okay? So you can use water in the center more, okay, but not in the corners. So once you're done, if you smudge it with the corner of the circles, it will be easy. So it is like as of here drawn and shaded, right? So each and everything is looking different, right? Creator. <laughs> this looks like a dandelion. This looks like a moon. This looks like a flower, a gemstone. So all your creations are a beautiful one. So whether it is wrong or right, keep doing. It's really a fun way to do, okay? So for the down part, 
he can use a sketch pen or the same paint you can use black color and you can give a line here and a bow kind of thing so i Okay, so just drawing curves like this freehand. So we are making cute, cute tying balloons. Okay, so here we can give a cute bow. Simple, okay like this this undertake like this this once again so you can use sketch pen also but use black or brown something dark color nice no so if you would like you can draw faces in this like and one is smiling well it's <laughs> cute right we can make one more smiley balloon Make sure you draw this with your sketch pen after it is dry. Okay. Cute balloons with bottle cap painting we have done today. It's really looking so cute and it is a easy method, fun loving activity that everyone can do. But you need so much of focus and you need right know to right quantity of water and paint. So if you have not get the exact thing also, it's okay. Keep practicing it. So yes, we are done for the day. Thank you everyone. Thank you for this, attending this session. Hope you all enjoy this session. Bye, mom. Bye, baby. Send your pictures later, okay? Okay. Once you have finished. Okay. Abba, we can end the class. Yeah, okay.